Welcome back, this is the Emma Jack, and today we got uh, Outpost, Gunslinger, Hell on Earth. I've been playing a, uh, an absolute ton of uh, Gunfire Reborn. Oh my god, I'm like trying to dash. <laughs> I've been playing a ton of Gunfire Reborn, and uh, oh my god, it feels so weird coming from Gunfire Reborn to KF2. I'm like not used to the, uh, the movement in this anymore. Um, anyway. I've been playing a ton of Gunfire Reborn off camera. That was the, uh, the Yamajack tries for today, I believe, actually. So I'm not doing so great on the, uh, the KF2 backlog at the moment. Um, don't want to be over here. Uh, it's a really good game. It's super fun. I've beaten the, uh, beaten the second boss once, I believe. And I've had, uh, I've had a run that... Uh, I just had a run that went up to the second boss again for, the, uh, for my second fight. So I beat it first try because I had a, I had a god tier weapon, um, and then uh, my second run that got through, I got it down to like 40k health or whatever, and then I died. So it's it's a bit of a tricky boss, but not super hard. Um, it's fun though. It's fun. It's a fun game. I'm gonna be having a series on that coming out like really soon because I want to play a lot of it. I want to play a lot of Gunfire Reborn. It's a really, really fun game, and I want to play that game. And uh, the only way I can really justify it is by um, recording it. And so, um, expect to see quite a lot of Gunfire Reborn. Probably the longest videos on this channel for a while. Probably be looking for like an hour a day, um, kind of thing. So about an hour long video. Uh, for now, anyway, because I want to play a lot. I want to play a lot of it, and. Uh, if I start making way too much progress, like I've already made quite a lot of progress <laughs> um, off camera, then I think it's going to really uh, cause issues to the uh, the enjoyment of the the series. So I want to make sure that I have um, as much of it recorded as possible. Hence, a lot of Gunfire Reborn uh, daily because <laughs> uh, it's fun. It's a fun game. I'm really really enjoying it. I'm having a total blast with it. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's it just it gives me the same kind of like kick that uh, KF2 does, but in a, in a different way, you know. It gives me it gives me that same you know sit down and do a run kind of feeling, but uh, with like uh, more cartoony, arcadey kind of uh, stuff, rather than the the gritty, you know whatever this is, which is also very 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 fun and very satisfying, but. Just uh, different, different ways, right? They have the, uh, they have different strengths, different weaknesses. The other uh, strength of uh, Gunfire Reborn is that it is really, really good. It's early access, so uh, they're still developing it. Hopefully, there's like some, some really cool stuff. There's new characters and stuff that I can unlock. Like, oh, I'm so excited to, to get into it. It's gonna be coming up really, really soon, like within a few days, kind of thing. So, um, get excited with that. I've, uh, I've, I've, I've played other Yamachek tries where I've wanted to do a series on it, like uh, Synthetic Legion Rising and um, Death's Gambit. You know, also very, very, very good games. But, like, this is the first time I've played a Yamachek tries and then immediately just been like, yeah, I'm gonna keep playing this after I'm done recording. Because uh, I haven't actually played Synthetic Legion Rising outside of that one I wanted to one time, but uh, my buddy didn't actually get back to me. Just fine, um, and then I just I haven't had the uh, the opportunity to just yet. But uh, with Gunfire Reborn, it was like, no, nah, I'm playing this game. Like it's it's beyond good. So it's game of the year material in my opinion. It's it's by far the best game I've tried on the Abstract tries. It's so good. I don't know. I don't know how to possibly explain how much how much fun I have playing that game because it's just it's so good. I haven't even played RuneScape today. I haven't even touched it. It's just it's all been. I woke up and I started playing Gunfire Reborn, and that's been my uh, it's basically been my day. Um, it's uh, it's really really good. So expect uh, expect more of that coming out really really soon. If you, if you like that kind of content, if you like that game, you want to see more of it, there will be more of it on this channel because I really, 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 really like it. It's so much fun. It's only on PC, though, apparently right now, which is, uh, is unfortunate for anybody who plays console. 
but I think, I don't know, it, 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 there isn't really any reason it couldn't be on console, so I imagine they'll eventually port it, but, you know, they probably got more important things to do first, right? They probably got to get, make sure that, uh, you know, this music is, like, kind of loud, actually. You gotta make, there's other things they gotta do first, so. Just the high priority stuff. You gotta make sure they got uh, a game that uh, people are gonna want to buy. And, I mean, I think they got a game people are gonna want to buy right now, but... They're not... Uh, I mean, it's, it's, from what I can tell, there isn't a whole lot of content in the game. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm at the, the second... Or the third, like, zone at the moment. Um, which is... It's like the first zone is the cat zone, and then the second zone is the dog zone, and then the third zone is like the bird zone. And uh, there isn't another character after that, so I'm assuming there isn't another zone after that, and that's that's it. Um, so there's, there's probably three bosses and then nothing else after that, is my guess. But, who knows? Maybe they just don't have the characters made for them yet, but they do have the zones made. I don't know. Who knows? Not me. But uh, it doesn't feel like there's an awful lot of content, so... I don't know, maybe maybe like 100, 200 hours of content in the game. Free playability kind of stuff. Which is like, a lot. But for a roguelike, not really a lot. You know? Like a roguelike, you'd expect to be able to continue getting new stuff and and, and doing new things for, for like thousands of hours. But I don't, I don't think this game has that. I don't think that, uh, that Gunfire Reborn is quite at that point yet. I don't think that they have, uh, you know, thousands of hours of replayability. Unless you really, really, really enjoy it, but, like, you're not, you're not finding new stuff. You're not finding new synergies or, you know, like, you, you've experienced it all. <laughs> after, after, like, a couple hundred hours, I think. I haven't put that much time into it. I've got maybe, like, six or seven hours in the game. So, who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm completely off the mark, but... It's super good. It's so good. I really like it. So I was thinking about, like, content to add in for, uh, for September to, to justify all the extra time that I'm going to be spending recording. And, uh... Well, an hour on that gives me two hours a day of uh, content, which is still not quite enough, but... Add in some, I don't know, Synthetic Leech and Rising, and... That's a, that's a pretty good amount of content there. Especially since uh, Synthetic, I think, actually will go on a little bit longer. Who knows? I want more games like Gunfire Reborn, though. Like, more first-person shooter, like, really good roguelike kind of experiences. I know that there have been a couple of, uh, of like, FPS roguelikes. Um, we haven't played any other than Gunfire Reborn on the, uh, on the channel, obviously. Um, but I have seen them. They didn't really look that great to me, though, personally. Uh, Gunfire Reborn really stood out to me, mostly because I've seen uh, North Nine play it, and then my friend is also pretty into it, and he told me to get it, so I got it. And I'm, uh, I'm grateful for that recommendation. Because uh, it's, it's a good game. 2020's uh, best, I don't know, indie game, I guess. So far. I mean, I haven't played all of them, but it's, it's hard to compete with that. It's solid, man. It's solid. Anyway. I, uh... I haven't really done anything else. It's, it's just been that. I made, uh, I made lunch today. Which, uh... I don't know. I try... Every now and then I try to do... Well, most of the time, actually, when I'm cooking. I try to do, uh, new things. I want, I want to just make sure that uh, you note know that I didn't say good things, but new things. Specifically, the uh, the fact that I haven't done it before is, is what matters most. Um, so I had uh, some like leftover ham in the fridge from who knows when. <laughs> it wasn't bad, it was fine. But uh, I had some leftover ham from who knows when. And I had, uh, I had some a biscuit like muffin things and uh so I, I 
fried up the egg, right? And I chopped up the like bit of ham that I had left into like these really fine, like minced almost, you know. Um, and uh, then I dumped the the ham into the egg as it was frying, right? And then I kind of like sealed it in with a piece of cheese on top. And then I put it on the the English muffin thingy. And then I ate it. And that was that was my lunch. It was uh it was weird because the like ham kind of was like inside the yolk and it was it was it was weird, but uh, I don't know. It was fine. It was it was nice because uh, normally when you have like bits of ham like that, it would get all uh, they'd fall all over the place as you eat it, right? Like you take uh, you take some bacon bits or something like that, right? And uh, you put it onto like uh, an egg muffin or something, right? And uh, you got you got bacon bits falling out all over the place. Whereas uh, whereas with this method. It actually, it uh, kind of like held it all in there. Kept it, uh, kept it held in inside the egg. So as I ate it, it just fell into my mouth and didn't fall into the floor and the plates and everywhere else. It was, uh, it was weird, but yeah, I think it was, it was fine. It's a good way to cook uh, bacon bits, I guess. If you got, uh, if you want bacon bits on an English muffin or something like that with an egg, I mean, why not? It worked out fine for me. I mean, ham bits, but same thing, really. Still don't have my fridge. Who knows where that is? I mean, it's not quite September yet, so... But I uh, still, don't, still don't have my fridge. It's told late August, early September, so... And I guess we're, we're right around the time when it should be showing up. Should be getting a call soon. I hope. I didn't actually give them my number. I gave them my uh, my mother's number. Because I can't talk on the phone, so. I, uh, I'll have to see if she's gotten a call yet. I would have imagined she'd tell me, but... Sometimes these things slip your mind, right? Okay, I definitely thought that I could fall off there. And I was very confused as to why I wasn't falling. I was very confused. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm really tired. I don't think I got much sleep last night. Anyway, that's good to do for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment with any channel. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.